So yesterday, um, in the US, they these revolutionaries, as you can see, unquote, <laughs> uh, they, they occupy Hamilton Hill at Community University in the US, right? And, sorry, fly. And they, they barricaded themselves in. But now this one here, who's one of the organizers, she insists that the people that have barricaded themselves in be given food and water because it's a basic human right. We not we obviously we know but, uh, food and water is a basic human right, but as the organizer, isn't that your duty as the organizer of the event? Like it's it's her duty. Yet she's demanding that the government bring in food and water. Let's have a listen. Why should the university be obligated to provide food to people who've taken over a building? Uh. Good question. Well, good question. Why should the government feel obligated to feed and give them water the people that have purposely overtaken a building and occupied a building? Why should the government be in, uh, feel the need to feed them and give them drinks? Well, for, first of all, we're saying that they're obligated to provide food to students who pay for a meal plan here. Right. Fair point. It's because the pe the students that are going there have already paid for the plan, so they deserve to be fed. But you mentioned that there was a request to, that food and water be brought in, unless I misunderstood. To allow it to be brought in. I mean, well, I guess it's ultimately a question of what kind of community and obligation Columbia feels it has to its students. So, so see what she did there? She passed all responsibility onto Columbia University to do it. It's past the book. The, all these people are, just love passing the book. You know? They're full of it. But then when it comes to, like, big details, like, so you want us, you want the government, the American government, to bring in food and water for these people, even though they took over the building. At first, it was, no, well, these students paid. So they paid for a food plan. So Columbia University should be allowing it. But then it switched to the other thing, which is a basic human right. Do you know? They're just, they're just full of it. Full of hot air. Um, do you want students to die of dehydration and starvation or get severely ill, even if they disagree with you? Well, go home then. Get out of the university and let, let the other students who want to learn, learn. Instead of being used as a propaganda if the answer is no then you should allow basic i mean it's crazy to say because we're on an ivy league campus but this is like basic humanitarian aid we're asking for so that's twice she said basic humanitarian aid that's to, to that's to this when she says that the second time it's to add strength to our argument that's why she said it twice it's to add strength and back up our argument but it's all that's just pure scooter with these people or like, could people please have a glass of water? But they, they, they water did now? put themselves in that very deliberately. In that. So they, that's a, that's a, who I uh, must look up who this guy is asking the questions because that's a really good question. But they, they put themselves in that situation. So why it's like why should the world facilitate it if they're the ones putting themselves in that situation? Plus, this lady as the organizer. Should have been should have provided food and water for them. What is this thing in the background like? Like what's that? How is the even some of those the spells? Anyways, back here. It's a situation in that position. So it, it seems like you're sort of saying we want to be revolutionaries, we want to take over this building. Now would you please bring us food and water? <laughs> it's brilliant. We're taking over this building. We want to be revolutionaries, unquote. But please provide us with food and water. <laughs> it's crazy. Amer you, ha you have to give it to America. Always goes that step further in making stuff just absolutely absurd, doesn't it? Nobody's asking them to bring anything. Every we're we're asking them to not violently stop us from bringing in. Ah, uh, so they're not asking for it. They're just please don't violently, purpose purposely use that word she did. 
please don't violently, violently interrupt the, the food being brought in. It's like, it's just... And basic humanitarian aid. They're stopping this. Tour time. Basic humanitarian aid. Tour time. I, we are looking for a commitment from them that they will not stop oh, it. But they haven't stopped it. Yet. We, well, I don't. I'm not. I don't know to what extent it. I don't know. See, if for someone that's so assured of our reasoning for for having these students uh, barricade themselves in this uh, university, using I don't know. Like, you know, that that kind of says it all. Useful idiot, this one. But this guy here who, who shared this video, Dr. Ellie Davis, shout out to you, man. Sorry about that, that might wreck his head, that phone. Uh, shout out to you. Uh, give him a follow because he, he's sharing some true stuff. Like, and I, actually, I can't even say that, can I? I can just say he's sharing stuff, but it's kind of like everybody that is showing you like say for instance let's say lives of tiktok right that girl gets blasted over but she's not even commenting on the videos like see the way i comment over this she doesn't do any of that she just shows you their video and then it's people commenting having like saying their opinion about whatever these uh rainbow squad people are doing in the videos like that's how can how can they be angry against that it's their own videos she doesn't even comment about it do you know She's just sharing her videos. Are they angry with her? Are they angry with her? Or are they angry with the people that are commenting on the video? Do you know? So, let's have a look. He looked into this yoke. Woke yoke. There's a new one for you. Woke yoke. Um, let's have a look at who she is. There's our LinkedIn. Joanna King Slutsky? Slutsky? Really? Okay. Uh, video editor and full service digital comms expert for progressive and leftist causes. So there you have it, just tell you as it is. She's a PH candidate at Columbia University. Hmm. Interesting. She hasn't got if you look down, if down below it has like uh there's a 12 people follow on her. That's it. So she has 12 connections. But they use her. It has been attempted, but we're to do this. You know, like it must be, uh, it must be like, kind of like RTE over here. Like they're scraping, they're searching their canteens for people to come on their show. That's how desperate RTE are. This is what's happening in America. They're so desperate rolling out with these people that they don't even like keep them to a side force and tell them, you know, they're not, they're not informed enough. This woman just tried back in our argument up three times three times she said that basic human rights basic human rights for what for people that uh, occupy a building and st and stop it stop other students from learning as long as they're in there do you know it's no wonder the american police sorry about the phone it's no wonder the american police reacted the way they did to this go and look at it on twitter people are saying oh the police overreacted and they're trying to spin it like you know one-sided as if like that's what happens if you stand up for palestine in america you know this type of way when we all know what they're doing and they use fools like this thing woke yoke 